we're talking to the head track and field coach for the Indiana Hoosiers, Ron Helmer. And coach, congratulations on having Derek Druin make the Canadian Olympic team in the high jump. And how do you see his maturation as a as a student athlete getting ready for the Olympic Games in 2012? Um, <clears throat> thank you. It, it, it's been remarkable. Um, not at a loss for words. I'm just not quite sure what words really describe what he's been able to do because. As a freshman, he's second in the NCAA championships, and so people start talking about what that might mean. Will he be an Olympian? And, and then he follows it up as a sophomore with two NCAA championships, and then a junior year with another NCAA championship, and then a devastating injury where doctors were saying, you know, this thing might get better and you might be done jumping. And um, just a little more than a year after that, he's an NCAA runner-up with a school record with a personal best outdoors. Uh, three times over 7-7 seven, seven this year and, uh, and now on his way to the Olympics. And so it, it's, it's a course that I think he put himself on. Um, he's got a remarkable amount of talent, but um, he's a remarkable competitor and, and uh, he, he just has, you know, in, in, in the big picture he's overcome a lot. If you were to ask him, it's just what you do to get where you want to go and it's no big deal. And, and that's probably a quality that makes him uh, makes him one of the one, one of the people that can get it done uh, year in and year out, meet in and meet out. And now it has to do with the Olympics. You mentioned that he's a remarkable competitor, and I think when people hear that, they think of somebody who's pumping their fist and tenacious all the time. But he's kind of remarkable in another way, in which he is just calm, cool, and collected, and just has this flatline personality where he performs the same way every single time, and is able to handle pressure in ways that many many athletes can. Uh, you know, and and outside of a few sports, um, I kind of think that 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 calm, cool, collected, consistent, high level performance approach is what's going to serve you best. Um, and in his particular case, there's this, this incredible competitor um, inside of him. He hates to lose, and yet he knows that he needs to keep all that energy harnessed and, and turn it into, into positive uh, performance. Otherwise, it does you no good. It absolutely does you no good. And so his consistency is remarkable as, as a result. Um, and, and the thing, same could be said for the other athletes that we have who who are consistently being performing at a high level. That's another quality that they have. And if you want to look back in our history, at, at a Bob Kennedy, one of the qualities he had was he showed up every day. And so what you start to figure out is maybe that's what the great ones do. Looking at Derek being so young, <coughs> making his first Olympic Games, there's a possibility he can compete in as many as three or four. He's that type of athlete. but. What do you see as his chances here in the 2012 games? Could things break his way and maybe he ends up on a podium? I think it's uh, absolutely possible that he ends up on a podium. Um, if he doesn't, I don't think it's going to be because he didn't handle um, the situation well, he didn't handle the stress well, he didn't handle the competition well, he didn't handle the travel well. I think he's going to handle all those things extremely well. And, and so now it's just go jumping. And, and, if he happens to be one of the guys who can stay clean the longest, then he'll still be jumping at the end. And I, yeah, I think he's got a great shot at medaling. Some of the other student athletes competed in the uh, Olympic trials really had good Olympic trials. Molly Beckwith being one very close to making uh, the Olympic team in the 800. Andy Bear, I think, exceeded many people's expectations in how well he did in the 1500. It was a very successful trials uh, for IU athletics and building for the future to potentially get into the games in Rio in 2016. Yeah, I, I was I was happy. We, we were very visible. Um, people were taking note of that. Um, many many people stopped me, uh, wanting to congratulate us on on our visibility, if nothing else. That we had people all over the place and and, and kids who uh, at the end of June, first of July, were still performing at a very high level, and and that's. That's one of the uh, evaluation tools that we need to use to determine whether or not we're getting the job done because for a track and field athlete at that level, there are opportunities beyond what they're able to do here and our, uh, our need to prepare them to be able to handle that is, is, is one of the things that we uh, spend a lot of time and, and energy and effort um, uh, doing.